Hi, my name's Shivani and I'm the co-founder of The Legal Amity. Hi, my name's Priya and I'm one of the other co-founders of The Legal Amity. On today's episode of Insider Info, we've got Camilla Shalapamal, who will be providing you with some trainee tips. So Camilla, if you'd just like to briefly introduce yourself. Um, Hi guys, my name is Camilla. I'm a first year, almost end of first year trainee at Hodge Jones and Allen Solicitors, uh, currently completing my second seat in clinical negligence. Thank you for that. And um, my first question to you is, how do you decide on what type of firm you wanted to apply to? So for example, you're reaching your training contract. Um, so I was quite lucky. Um, I started work paralegaling for Hodge Jones and Allen Solicitors. Um, I initially did uh, just uh, three days a week uh, whilst doing my GDL full time uh, and I was sorting out medical records in the clinical negligence department. Um, I then moved on to doing a full time job um, during my LPC uh, and that was uh, again still in the department and it's just um, the firm and how it was, it really um, showed me um, the, basically the kind of firm that I would want to work in, the, the people, the teams, the atmosphere, the work most importantly that they do. Uh, that's the thing that mostly inter- interested me and in why I wanted to apply to Crossroads and Allen. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. Um, so in terms of students that are trying to get experience, what advice would you give them on what's the best way to get experience and build up their skills? Um, so more importantly, I think that um, the idea that skills are transferable. So even if you worked in retail, for example, you can still use that experience and say that you've got um, you've got experience speaking to the general public because at the end of the day, you will be expected to speak to clients. Um, so any skill is actually something that, that you can absolutely play to your advantage. Um, in terms of legal experience, um, before starting at Hodge Jones and Allen Solicitors, I had no legal experience other than things that I did during my GDL and my LPC. Um, so I know at the University of Law, they had uh, a legal clinic that you could volunteer, um, and those dealt with mostly housing and family law. Um, it's great, it's good experience to speak to people, to find out about different cases, might pique your interests. Um, I participated in debates during my master's at King's, um, and that was before Lord Judge. He uh, used to hold regular debates, um, so I used to attend those. Um, any conferences, any talks that you might find online at the moment because of COVID, but before then I used to go to those. Um, I also um, just took, just basically read up more about the subject and then any experience I had with previous jobs, whether it was retail in nursing or if it was um, front of house at the Royal Albert Hall, all of those I basically used to my advantage and to show that I am able to speak to people, I can, um, I, I can listen uh, and I, I do have an interest in the area. Thank you, that was really interesting. And um, our final question is, um, how did you find the adjustment from being a student to a trainee? Um, so I'm actually 32. So my, so going into law was sort of like my third and fourth uh, degree. So I already had a bit of life experience, but I think, um, in terms of going from student as a mature student, I hate that term, sorry. Uh, but as a mature student go from that to going into uh, a trainee, um, I think the transition was made a bit easier by paralegaling. Um, I think in terms of, if you're a recent graduate, Um, I would definitely build up any life experience that you can possibly get, like, you know, just any jobs that you can get, even if it's not in the legal sector, just so you have an idea of what the real world and having knowledge of like businesses and things like that. Um, I think those definitely help. Um, But for me, I think, um, I think what you learn as a student in terms of organizational skills, always, always maintain those because when you're, when you move into as a trainee, it's really important that you're able to, uh, to prioritize and to organize yourself uh, so that you can assist the fear that, that um, is supervising you. Okay, that's perfect. Um, thank you for that, Camilla, and thank you for taking time out of your day to speak to us as well. Um, we really appreciate it. And for the people that are watching, if you do have any questions after watching this video, then do feel free to comment be- down below and we'll try our best to answer your questions. And thank you for watching and keep an eye out for the next episode of Insider Info. Thank you.